Uh, welcome back to Eric's Drink Whiskey. My name is Eric, and I am flying solo today. Eric, the other Eric is, uh, we've kind of been on some two separate crazy schedules, so we're trying to crank out some minis as we can here now. Well, I, today, have a bit of a treat. Uh, stumbled across this at the local watering hole of liquor, and it is one of my favorite distilleries in the realm of Isla Scotch, and that would be Ardbeg Scorch. Now, I know nothing about this. Uh, I know it was limited release. Uh, Ardbeg's been putting out a lot of non age stated limited stuff. Uh, we'll just to read the front a little bit. From the shadowy depths of Dunnage Warehouse 3 comes a single malt of fantastical proportions. Matured in our most heavily charred casks, toasted cloves, and wisps of sweet peat smoke, interlaced with thick clouds of briarwood and sage. I don't know what kind of accent I'm doing. Discover the layers of flavor in this fire breathing beast of a dram. Alright, so this bad boy cost about 130 bucks. Um. A little pricey, but let's see what it is. So we are 46% by volume, ABB. Let's give it a go. Ah. Those Isla Scotches, man, they do a cork pop like it's not, like it's, I don't know, it's something else. Okay, so... Usually Ardbeg Usually Ardbeg is known for non-coloring of their whiskey. Um, so I'm gonna assume that it is not colored. There we go. Let's see. Oddly light for a oddly light for an Isla, um, kind of honeysuckle on the nose, a little pear fruit, some lemon zest, like sweet tangy barbecue uh, sauce. Overall, pretty sweet. Uh, did not expect that. That that nose on this is very. Uh, enticing given the name of it and approachable let's give it a, let's give it a taste layers of fruit uh, not, I mean, it's peaty, but it's not, a, it's not your typical Ardbeg peat, and I don't know, I don't know with the heavy charring process, is it, if that, if the extra carbon that was laid on that cask kind of sucked some of that out, um, but you're getting more of a, I, I'm not saying this is young, um, but you're getting more of that young malted barley note uh, with this, uh, and I, and I enjoy that. It's it's ripe fruit, uh, light fruit, ripe light fruit. Yeah, and just really sweet. Uh, got that kind of tangy barbecue note with the smoke. Really not overpowering at all. Yeah, I mean this is good. It's what I would what I would suspect of a typical of a typical hard bag. Um, little disappointed with the price point on it compared to what it is because I do I do believe our bag has two other products out that you can find on the shelf staples that are I believe cast strength the Cory Vrecken and the Ugalal. Um and those are about eighty five bucks depending on where you get them. And those are, those to me taste better 
for the price you're paying but if I was looking to give to give somebody a good Isla Scotch um, you know that kind of had some great marketing notoriety to it I do this one all right so my final thoughts is this is way overpriced um, good whiskey but way overpriced but what the hell do I know I'm just Eric from Eric's Drink Whiskey. You have a good day. Yeah.